throughout this magnificent complex there are a number of honour rolls featuring the winners of the Miracle Mile, the Len Smith Mile, the Derby, the Oaks, also the Chariots of Fire, just to name a handful. As far as the Indigenous community is concerned, having your name on the honour roll featuring the name of J.C. Caffin is certainly high on their priorities. We're only a few months away from the next edition, the 12th running of the J.C. Caffin Plate, the General Manager of Racing, Mr. David Watson, has all the details. Well, now before we get into the details of the running of this year's JC Caff and the 12th running of this marvellous race, the exhibit behind us, I think you'd have to go a long, long way to any race course in Australia to find something as better as this as far as the detail, the colour, the Indigenous artwork. It's just magnificent. Yeah, it is. It's pride of place here at Club Menangle. Um, something that was established in 2011. Uh, Bruce O'Brien was the first winner. Um, Michael Brown on, on the um, board of Clubman Angle at the time, John Dumasey and Jimmy Brown, a, a great Indigenous participant in our sport, come together, got this idea going. Well, it started off as just the one-off race, has now grown uh, to heats throughout the state. I know we've had um, some COVID restrictions the last few years, which has uh, stopped us from competing with heats throughout the state, but it's back bigger, better than ever this year. All the heats will be conducted uh, throughout October with the final here on Breeders' Challenge Night, October 29. David, I think this started out on a Sunday afternoon meeting as a novelty event, to, to be respectful, but now is one of the main races on the Clubman Angle calendar. Yeah, it, and it was. It was, when you say a novelty, we had a, a lot of different events. It was, we had big horses, we had the little horses, we had drives that have never driven a winner here before. This has just grown and grown. Um, Paul Ralph from Kari got on board a few years ago. This is one of his, and they sponsor the New South Wales State of Origin team. They're like partnerships with that team. But this is um, one thing that he's really proud of. It's something that we developed ourselves. They've come on board with it. Um, there's a lot of events that are around the NAIDOC week and stuff like that, but this is something that's grown into itself. It's won awards through the club industry. Um, it's a $25,000 final. It's something that's sought after, and we have, love it having part of our big events. As I mentioned, to have your name on the honour roll now is so important to the Indigenous people that get involved in this race. Oh, they all bring their families and friends. Uh, there's a lot of participants come from the country areas. Now, Royce Gregory Jacks won it three times. As I said, Bruce O'Brien was the inaugural winner. Michaela Barnes has won it twice. She was last year's winner, so she gets an invite, being last year's winner. Uh, young Jess Pryor from the Riverina, she's won it a couple of times. Josh Aiken, um, you know, even Danny Scanlon, he had his family here a few years ago. Uh, he was tears in his eye when he was up on the presentation deck. So they, they do take it very seriously. They, they bond really well. They go to these country tracks. Um, as I said, Wagga, there'll be parks, there'll be Newcastle. They go as a group, they usually travel together. It's a bit like footballers, you know, before and after the game it's good, but when they're on the track, there's no love lost out there. No, it's become very serious. I interviewed Scott Wade a couple of weeks ago and he's part of this Indigenous family and he is ultra keen to have his name up on that other role. He just said that would be the highlight of his harness racing career. Yeah, look, and that's what it is to him. They take it on board how important it is to him. And as I said, the, the way they uh, embrace it out in the country areas, there's um, smoking ceremony here on, on the night on British, Ch uh, British Challenge final night. There's usually a smoking ceremony at the country tracks. The country tracks really like it as well because they bring their family and friends and you know, it's just something that we're really, really proud of and something that Michael Brown and John Dumasey should be really proud of too. So I gather, David, that we will be back full circle this year with the heats in, into the big final. Yeah, so there's six six heats in all. Well, there's seven heats if you include the final race. So the heats are only not for the horses, but they're for the drivers. So the drivers qualify. So heat winners go straight into the final. Last year's winner, Michaela Barnes, will go straight through the final. And then it's a point system from that divided on how many drives you have. So as we mentioned earlier, there's no love lost out on the track. Then no, there's only about, other than winners, there's only a couple of spots available. So... Um, yeah, it's, it's really competitive and really interesting to watch the series evolve the way it has. Yeah, certainly a night to uh, put a circle as far as Hart Club and Angle is concerned with the Indigenous race. Dave, this is just one of numerous wonderful exhibitions here at Club and Angle. The newly renovated Besheba next to the Sportsman's Bar entry and across from the Miracle Mile restaurant. I've had a look at that recently. It is outstanding. Uh, some of the stuff we have here, 
you can spend four or five races and people that haven't been out here recently should come back out to the trots just have a look because you can walk around for an hour and just have a look at all the different exhibits as you see the Besheba. Um, we even have like the harness racing, the print media photography wall, uh, ladies in racing. Um, we've updated the legends wall. Um, we've got the Miracle Mile hallway and all the nostalgic photos that we've got up there from years gone past. You can spend a couple of hours here having a look around the place and you reminisce, don't you? You have a look at some of those Miracle Miles and we have the old videos going and you reminisce, oh, I remember being there. Time gets away from you though, doesn't it? Certainly does, particularly when you look at the Sportsman's Bar and some of those uh, old jerseys. Yeah, I, I think they should bring a few of the old jerseys back. That's my opinion anyway, but... um. Yeah, it is. It's a lot of nostalgia amongst here at Club Menangle and all the bar areas and the public areas. So if you haven't been out here for a while, please get out here, have a look at it all. You'd be really interested and uh, nice to show your family and friends. Surely you've got an old Little Horse Steelers job we could have framed. <laughs> I've got an old Steelers one. I've got an old Magpies one too. Gold Star. Um, God, that's going back a while. But yeah, they, they, um, they, they seem to gather dust back in the bottom of the drawer there somewhere, but uh, it's, it was all good fun. A couple of weeks' time, very busy period here at Club Menangle. We race the Saturday night into Monday afternoon, Tuesday afternoon, then back for a Saturday meeting. Yeah, the Monday afternoon is the Nutrient Heats, the new sales series. Uh, those finals are here at the end of August, but the Heats will be here on Monday the 15th of August, I think they are. And there'll be Trotters Heats as well for the Nutrient Series, so we're really excited about that. Hosting the inaugural race for those, um, I think they're $175,000 finals here on August, Saturday, August 29th. So, yeah, busy week. That's how we like it, isn't it? Certainly do. And just a pointer for those traders interested in the JC Caff and David having their horses going through the heats, when should they be starting to get in contact with yourself or Harness Racing New South Wales? Are those invites to previous participants, but we're very, very happy to have someone call up um, to say that, uh, uh, yeah, be proud of their Indigenous background, put their hand up to be part of the series. Um, there is some concessions that you don't have to have an A-grade licence to compete, that you do have to make an application to the stewards to compete here on JC Caffer Night, as it is such a big night, but you don't have to have a full A-grade licence to compete in that series. So please, um, get in contact with the club, get in contact with myself. If you haven't been part of the series, we'd love to see you. And that's not just in New South Wales, that's anywhere in Australia. Well, as always, David, a great night of racing at Clubman Angle with all the exhibits, as we've mentioned. Great action on the track and, of course, the Miracle Mile restaurant. What more do you need? Oh, we just... And we've got the best judge in Australia.